What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of the Chat Shack. Today uh, we're going to be talking about some spooky stuff. We're going to be talking about uh, five movie productions, movies, that were generally cursed. So these are films that uh, unexplainable things have happened on set or during production or like after production or before, whatever, something weird's happened. So uh, as you can tell they're, probably, they're, they're horror movies, uh, so there aren't really many happy films in this. Um, Not all men. The first one, the 1976 version of The Omen, not the, uh, not the modern one. Uh, tragedy first struck during production when an animal handler was eaten alive by a lion. Oh. Uh, and uh, then Gregory Peck Why and Mace... Why was there a lion in it? I don't know. But there was an animal handler who got eaten by... A, uh, there's... I can't remember. Maybe... I, think there might, I don't know. There might be a lion in it. <laughs> uh, Gregory Peck and Mace uh, Neufeld were struck by lightning on separate planes, but uh, luckily survived. And uh, But the strangest incident uh, was a fatal car accident, which occurred shortly after the movie wrapped up, so the movie was ended, and the Omen's designer, John, Richards, John Richardson, that's it, uh, was caught in a car crash that killed his girlfriend, decapitating her in almost exactly the same way as Jennings is killed in The Omen, the film. That's so messed up. That is, I don't know, I don't that's care so what weird. people say, but that's... Do you reckon that's like a coincidence, or do you reckon something actually went wrong? Like I think... Some like that, demons like gone from... I think that films that deal with demonic themes and like ghosts and stuff... So you mean like... Like, attract bad energy and stuff, that's why I think stuff like that happens. You think like the ghost that was actually like doing all the cursing like... Well I don't know, come I mean... Back how, to get kill him. How can you explain how the woman died what pretty is, much exactly... What is the, the word for like a bad ghost? What's it called? Poltergeist. Yeah, that's the one. Well, that's just a ghost that moves stuff around. But yeah, um, we're going to be talking well. about Poltergeist I think in a bit. But uh, right. number two is Rosemary's Baby, uh, the popular horror film in 1968. Uh, the producer, uh, Castle, producer Castle, was also affected by this movie. I don't know what that means. And uh, uh, da -da -da, death threats were basically sent to everyone um, uh, because of disturbed fans and like people who've seen the movie and Castle's stuff like that. Castle's the producer of it. Yeah. Um, mm. But uh, Castle said uh, the movie, Rosemary's Babies, happening in real life, which is all of them, were casting their spell and I was becoming one of their principal players. So the, produ the, the producer of the movie yeah. was getting like weird visions of witches and like becoming weird he was like getting weird images of witches in his head apparently uh, most horrifi horrifyingly of all is that a word? director Roman Polanski very famous guy his wife Sharon Tate as well as three friends and their and her unborn child were murdered by Charles Mason's followers uh, using satanic Mo motives reminiscent of the movie. What does that mean? Some people didn't like the movie, so they killed his wife and his friends. I don't know. I think, yeah, that's basically what it is. But basically, yeah, people, uh, Sharon Tate, as well as three friends and her unborn child were murdered by Charles Manson's followers. Well, who's Charles? Using the Charles Manson's? same eth uh, ways of the movie. I could explain Charles Manson. That's not the way. I wonder what it is. Uh, like. Number three, Poltergeist. We were talking about that a minute ago. The, uh, this is weird. The young cast of Poltergeist were very unlucky, or were they just cursed? Um, for a start, uh, little Oliver Robbins, Robbie Freeling in the film, nearly died when he was choked by the arms of an evil Muppet, puppet Muppet that dragged him under the bed. So he was, nearly, he was nearly choked um, by the arms of the evil puppet uh, in the film. Not in real life. Oh, in the film? Yeah, in the film. This isn't real life yet. Oh. Um, the young, the uh, uh, then young star Heather O'Rourke, who played uh, Carol Ann Freeling in the film, died only uh, a few years later during routine surgery, which should have gone, which should have been just routine and easy, but uh, she unfortunately died. Uh, more gruesome still was the murder of the 22-year-old Dominic Dominique Dunn, uh, Carol's sister Dana Freeling in the film, who was strangled by. A dangerous ex-boyfriend. So one person died in surgery and another one got strangled to death. Yeah, basically, main, I don't know if basically... I think the first one's cursed, the omen. That that had something, that weird coincidence about it. But the other ones are just, um, like, uh, weird murders, basically. 
Sources um, Psycho. Psycho, 1960. What happened in this one? Uh, well, basically, Psycho is a, a, a huge, huge horror film. Um, a bizarre copycat so crime that occurred after its release. Yeah. So someone um, watched it and then reenacted the... Someone watched it and basically reenacted... What happened in the uh, film in the shower, yeah. where they murdered someone who was in the shower. Yeah, basically. They, That's they a very famous scene, in isn't it? Psycho's so uh, one of the Hitchcock films, ain't he? Yeah. He's done, like, Hitchcock. birds and... Yeah. Weird stuff like that. A woman it? named Myra Davis, who worked as a lighting assistant on the film, was murdered Rear by. Window. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, like Kenneth that. Dean Hunt, a Hitchcock obsess, uh, obsessive and real life psycho. So, some guy uh, who's basically obsessed with uh, Hitchcock and Psycho the film killed uh, Myra Davis. Who's Myra Davis? Uh, one of the lighting assistants on the film. Uh, Why there did was you kill her? there was much confusion surrounding the case as uh, Janet Lee's body double for the infamous shower scene was also called Myra Davis. So he killed the wrong one. Well, I don't know, but I, th- he, I don't know if he killed the wrong one. But there were two Myra Davises, and it made the case really confusing. Uh, the last one, probably another, well, the probably Exorcist. the second, second uh, most famous horror movie of all time, The Exorcist, in 1973. Um, oh, someone died before it was even released. Yeah, so the what, they Exorcist, filmed it and then they died? Y- well, Spinal area injuries during filming. The Exorcist was beset with death and injury. Uh, Jack M- McGowan, McGowan uh, Burke Dennis in the film, and uh, Mrs. Karras in the film, died before The Exorcist was even released. And Ellen uh, Burr, Still, and Linda Blair... Sustained fairly serious spinal injuries during the filming uh, of the production. So what? So why before it was even released, two people died? Yeah, they filmed it. How'd they two die? Two people died. I don't know. It doesn't say, but okay. two people died, and two people had bad back injuries. I think from the uh, the film, and it was also filmed in a freezer, as you know. The uh, the uh, bit in the film where she's tied on the bed, and all the like uh, cold fumes are coming out of her mouth. They actually filmed it in basically like a massive freezer. Why? Uh, to make it like authentic and good, real looking. Oh. Uh, part of the Exorcist set inexplicably went up in flames, and the Regan house, except for Regan's bedroom, had to be rebuilt. Why not the bedroom? I don't know. That's that's the weird thing. And uh, this freaked out cast and uh, crew so that a pastor was approached to perform a real life exorcism on set. What? So basically, Why'd they do that? basically unexplainable fire happened on set in the film mm. everything was burned down except from the room where the demon girl was was in yeah. her the demon bedroom and uh, basically they so had what? to so it was all a set, set so it was all a set but the room where their pretend demon girl was it's yep. the only room that didn't burn down it's the only room that survived basically but and it was, it had, it was why, why did it blow burn everything apart from that room if there wasn't even a demon there I don't know but basically um, everyone yeah everyone got so creeped out that they actually had to get an exorcist to come into the into the set and basically find out if anything was going wrong yeah like ex- did they find anything like, have an ex- I, don't, I don't think so but um, if, you, if you were on a film and everything started going wrong and like, people were it. dying and all that stuff like I'd, I'd, I'd be a little freaked out but um, those are some of the uh cursed horror films out there I'm sure there are more uh, that are weird but what do you think do you think they're real or do you think they're coincidence or do you think do you think it's just you know like st- bad stuff that happens just life really some of them are really weird though some of them I can see that are just like coincidence and I think the exorcist and the omen one mo- made up the other ones are basically just people who are crazy and like obsessed yeah. with the film like trying to reenact stuff but yeah uh, the Omen one, where the woman got decapitated, exactly the same as woman yeah, in the that's, film. Yeah, that's a bit messed that's up. That's weird. And the whole um, uh, exorcist set burning, except from the room, that's weird. Yeah, um, I like that Regan's bedroom. Like, how is that the only thing that wasn't burnt if it was a big fire? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, there are the uh, five horror movies that have been cursed over the years. Luckily, there haven't there hasn't been a recent one that's been uh, properly cursed like that. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you've seen any of them, comment on what you think of them if they're scary. Uh, comment on what, what's your scariest film what's this, we've already asked you this before what, what's the scariest film out of them or out of any film you know and post in the comments anyway as always it's like and sinister. subscribe it's, mm, yeah sinister is kind of scary Just, it's think, more jumpy than scary I think proper scary is exist that's a proper scary yeah, film it's scary though it's a scary film it isn't it scary is, it's so creepy and scary it's not, I don't think it is I think Dead Silence that's creepy that is creepy but anyway as always like and subscribe and peace out.